Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here, and I wanted to give you a nice quick look at the Low Pro Pro Roller X200 uh, by Low Pro, of course, um, if you can't tell. This is, uh, this is the, I think this is the middle in the terms of the lineup, in terms of the Low Pro bags. There's the X100 and the X200 and then the X300. It's got a nice set of features um, that are not found in any other bag in its class. And uh, I want to show you a couple of those. But first of all, this is, of course, first and foremost, a roller bag. So you can see it's got these wheels here. And um, you can actually easily replace these when or if they wear out um, just by using one of these hex, hex wrenches. And I'm sure you can order these wheels or any additional accessories directly from Low Pro. Consequently, they also have a lifetime warranty on these doesn't cover normal wear and tear, so don't expect them to be paying for any uh, wheels that you wear out through due to normal wear and tear. Now, let's take a look at the back of the bag. One of the cool features that the bag does have is this little tip stand. So if I flip this out like that, I can tilt the bag back and it will hold up the bag like so. So I'm gonna do that, and as you can see, the bag is held up at an angle. This is pretty useful because it allows you to uh, to easily access at a nice, somewhat ergonomic angle, um, accessories and stuff in a bag. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it tilted up like so and show you the inside of the bag. So this is exactly what the inside of the bag looks like when you get it brand new. As you can see over here, here's some organizational tools and flaps here for you to um, decide whether or not a uh, flash memory has been used or if it hasn't been used so those are easily flip in here um, I actually have a battery charger in there but that's actually not included there's a little flap over there for you to stick in stuff um, but this is wide open so keep that in mind whereas over here there's actually a velcro piece that actually holds your flash cards in there so that's pretty nice nifty little little uh, Flaps, set of flaps that help you keep some memory cards in there. Um, over here on the left hand side, you can hold some additional pens, lens pens, etc. And this does have Velcro that closes it back in along with the business card holder over here. However, keep in mind that while well, this keeps the flap down this way, it actually doesn't do anything if the bag is flipped over sideways or, or uh, top down, and stuff could still fall out over there. So keep that in mind. Down here we have two semi-transparent uh, uh, little bags that you can go ahead and stick things, stick things in here, like so. Um, there's some attention to detail here at Low Pro, as you can see over here. There's actually this nice section where you can put in the uh, the actual zipper in there, so as to not scratch your accessories. So that's a nice little touch that. Um, you know, you'll see in a, a nice high quality camera bag uh, maker. So that's it for the opening flap here. Now for the main compartments, you can see there's plenty of room to stick on two Pro uh, DSLRs, uh, etc. There's plenty of organizational compartments here. These are, you know, foam, foam based, um, semi rigid, but not, not, not really. Pretty typical of what you'd find in uh, most other bag manufacturers as well, but they give you plenty of dividers. Um, this here is actually a uh, tripod holder that actually fits out in the front of the bag, and I can show you that later. Over here, there's this little accessory pouch and bag along with the corresponding Low Pro uh, logo color, which is orange. And inside this bag, there's actually an important piece of um, gadgetry. So here we actually have additional straps to go with the tripod. Uh, mounting, but there's a little piece down here inside the bag that is actually a um, kind of like a tripod socket mount. And this is pretty cool because this is pretty unique to Low Pro in that they actually have here in the handle, and the handle is actually fairly nice and beefy by the way. But the handle not only features two releases, so you can release from either side, but if you flip over this part right here. You can actually screw this in and then use this as a light stand, a make-do impromptu light stand, or um, you know just any type of stand if you want. And um, naturally, you don't want the bag flipped over like this at the corner. I'd probably use magic arms for this or, or hold up a flash 
um, could be pretty useful in that capacity. But uh, probably don't want to be putting your seven or eight thousand uh, dollar piece of glass on there and expect it to hold. But it's pretty useful in a pinch if you did need to. Um, if you did need to uh, have something held up and you didn't have any light stands um, with you at the time, so that's pretty cool to have. Now there were some comments about how this is a little bit rickety, and I will have to agree. There seems to be quite a lot of give here which is yet another reason why you don't want to put any expensive glass on here or expect it to hold things down stabilized. As you can see, it's not exactly very stable, so it's kind of rickety. But at the same time, it's good enough for its purpose in, in just using it as a roller bag. Just just a little bit sad that because it's, it is a little bit rickety, if it is a little bit windy, um, yeah, again, you don't want to be putting anything really expensive on this mount. But it, it's pretty useful in a pinch, and it's, it's a nice little thing that differentiates this bag from other bags. Okay, so, um, so there you have it. That's just a quick general overview of the inside of the bag. Let me go ahead and put this back in here so I don't lose this part. This, this is kind of a fairly unique part. Put this back in there. Over here on the side, there's actually a TSA-compliant little lock, um, which is cool because you can go ahead and use this to um, easily attach this to some sort of, uh, or actually to close up, to close up your zippers. So this could help deter, you know, quick opportunity thefts by allowing you to go ahead and um, zip out this line. So let me let me turn off the camera here and let me actually let me put the camera down here. Okay, so as you can see, I have it pulled out all the way right now, and it's probably a foot and a half to two feet of um, steel braided cable. But the idea is that you can put this through um, the uh, zippers and uh, basically zip them all up nice and shut so that um, it helps to prevent opportunity theft. And, ha and if you wanted, you could loop this around some sort of a pole or a table or something more secure to help you know, ensure that your bag doesn't suddenly just roll off on its own or mysteriously roll off on its own. So that's pretty good. And it's also TSA compliant, so as you can see, a TSA won't have any problems. They won't need to break the lock in order to get in and do their inspections if they needed to. So, um, so as you can see, it's a TSA lock. But probably one of the coolest features about this bag is it's actually two bags in one. Okay, in the front, there's one section here that you can go ahead and put in your laptop, but that's not the feature I'm talking about. So you can fit a nice 15-inch laptop down here. Probably wouldn't go fit a 17-inch laptop. But a 15-inch one works just fine. Besides, I don't think there's a whole lot of padding anyway. Um, and in the front section over here, this is where you do the attaching of the tripod uh, to the outside of the bag. Um, there's a section right here that actually pulls out. And let me get that right there. And you attach that, that piece that we just saw inside to this, and it kind of holds, holds the uh, uh, tripod up to the front of the bag. But I think one of the coolest features about this bag is this right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and zip this back up and close this out. In a pinch, you can turn this into a backpack. Okay, so see there, there's this little section down here, a zipper right over here. It kind of looks like it's an expansion zipper that you'd find in regular luggage, right? No, actually, if you unzip this all the way, it actually pulls out this whole entire bag insert and it becomes a backpack. And then you could use the shell for anything that you would like. Uh, if, if, for instance, um, this won't fit in a carry-on, you can actually take this part out. As you can see right here, now that actually is just a backpack. And you can just take this to go, and this will fit in any international luggage just fine. It just kind of looks like a squarish backpack. And then down here, you can go ahead and stick in additional items, or check it in at um, luggage check-in. and you know, have it mailed out so you actually get it on the other side of your trip. So that's pretty cool and pretty unique of the Low Pro. So if some, if you think some of these features make sense to you, and it does make sense to a lot of people, definitely consider getting the Low Pro X200 bag. All right, thanks for watching.